Hi, I'm Joe Wegman. I'm a licensed clinical pharmacist, and my expertise is in psychopharmacology. Before we get started, I'd like to comment on this fact. I do workshops all across the country on psychopharmacology, and one of the most common questions I get is not in relationship to the psychotropic med classes that I speak about, but instead about herbal supplements and alternative remedies for managing mood disorders, uh, as an example. That's a good example of how herbals are often employed. Today we're going to speak about the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids. But before I do that, let me ask a couple of questions. Do you ever forget where you put your car keys from time to time? Uh, have you ever walked into a room and forgotten why you walked into the room in the first place? Uh, this is common as we age. Enter omega-3 fatty acids. The truth is the brain needs these fatty acid substances. But there's a rather widespread misconception about fat. Uh, fat carries a very negative connotation here in this country. But that's not necessarily true. There are bad fats, but there are also good fats, and the omega-3s fall into the good fat category. But let's discuss the bad fats. And uh, these are often referred to as the saturated fats. So we're going to break fats down into two general areas, the saturated fats and the unsaturated fats. When you think saturated fats, think butter. Think fats that are in solid form. And these are indeed unhealthy for us. I think we all know that. Butter tastes great. I love it. I'm sure you probably do also. But it's not good for the waistline. And it's also not good for our triglycerides or our cholesterol and for our overall heart health. So let's take those bad fats and put them aside and now discuss the good fats. These are the unsaturated fats. And the healthiest of the unsaturated fats are polyunsaturated. And the omega-3s fall into the polyunsaturated category. Uh, all fatty acids are are long carbon chains, and the longer the carbon chain, generally speaking, the healthier the fat. Omega-3s have many benefits, and their primary benefits are from a cognition and memory-related standpoint. So taking an omega-3 fatty acid supplement every day, what you can expect is an improvement in cognition and an improvement in memory. And also, omega-3s help slow down cognitive decline as we age. And they facilitate this by assisting and aiding in the firing of neurochemicals within the brain's some 5 billion synapses. So again, expect an improvement in cognition and also an improvement in memory. Omega-3s are often employed in the management of Alzheimer's disorder, or Alzheimer's disease is a better term for that. And there are folks who take them for early onset dementia. There is also promising evidence that omega-3s uh, can help alleviate some of the symptoms of unipolar depression because these studies indicate that folks with depression uh, have low levels of omega-3s. So many prescribers are using the omega-3s to supplement traditional antidepressant therapy. All right, now our bodies don't make omega-3s readily and certainly don't make them efficiently. So what are the ways we get omega-3s? We'll have to feed omega-3s to the body. And we do that through certain food groups and also through the use of supplements. Let's talk about the food groups first. Uh, the first food group that is high in omega-3s, cold water fish. Cold water fish such as salmon, cod, mackerel, high quality tuna, and also high quality sardines are all high in omega-3 fatty acids. And it's important for us to get our, to consume fish. That's, you know, two or three servings a week. But here's what clinical evidence also tells us, that we probably have to quadruple that, you know, to maybe six or eight servings of fish per day to actually benefit and receive the daily requirement of omega-3s. And that's just not going to be all that doable for most of us. A second source of omega-3s is walnuts. But again, we're going to have to crack a bunch of walnuts, and in fact, maybe as much as a small wheelbarrow full of walnuts to get an adequate supply of these fatty acids. A third source is flax, flax seed, or in fact, even flax oil. 
But the bottom line with these foodstuffs is it's quantity related. How much of this can we consume in any given day to get these minimum daily requirements? So this is not to discourage uh, eating cold water fish or eating walnuts or in fact to consume flaxseed. But the best way to get omega-3s is through oral supplementation. And these are supplements that we can buy in any quality health food store, nutrition store, your local pharmacy, or for that matter, even supermarkets. So let's talk about those for just a moment. If you go out and purchase an omega-3 fatty acid supplement, if you look at the side of the label, what you're going to see are three primary components. The first component is EPA, EPA. The second is DHA, and the third component is the fish oil content per capsule. Here's what you want to pay attention to. Focus mostly on the fish oil content per capsule. Now, I take a supplement every day, and the fish oil content per capsule is 600 milligrams. Here's your daily goal. You want to get, you want to consume 2,000 milligrams of fish oil per day. So, to accomplish that, I take two 600 milligram capsules in the morning, and I also take two in the evening. 600 times 4 is 2,400 milligrams of fish oil content per day. Now, there are also folks who focus on the DHA content, but frankly, I think that gets a bit confusing. Put the EPA and DHA aside and focus more readily on the fish oil content per capsule. Your goal, once again, 2,000 milligrams of fish oil per day. And it's, of course, important to combine that with the food groups that we spoke about a bit earlier. There are few, if any, side effects associated with omega-3 fatty acid supplements. And the side effects that people most complain about are related to regurgitation or some burping. But there's even a solution to that. You can take the capsules, put them in the freezer, and take them in the solid frozen form. So, in summary, eat your cold water fish, crack some walnuts, and uh, sprinkle some flaxseed on your cereal. But by all means, combine these foods with an omega-3 fatty acid supplement that you purchase separately. You'll be doing the old noggin a favor. And uh, I think it's beneficial for all of us to work on and help improve what's going on between our ears. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Joe Wegman, wishing you good mental health.